So today we're looking at a Neptuna style villa on Campus Old B. So you're not far from the shops, but also if you noticed, you're on the outs outer road. So you've got some le lovely areas for walking. So what I'm doing at the moment is I'm going around the outside of the property. There you got the entrance for your car parking. Guys, you've got a massive area there for if you've got some cars, but also in the price of this property, You've got a car as well. Now you need to speak to the agent about all the details about the car, but that's included in the price. And this Neptuno, it's a four bedroom. So I've just shown you the back of the garden at the moment. You've got a nice seating area there, the barbecue. Taking you up to the pool area. I can see already it's a big pool. Look at that, eh? That's what you call a big pool. Now at the moment, it's not even 11 o'clock yet. Sun's right above your head. This is December. You can't believe, but today's temperature it will be 26. This is December. There's a hot time, isn't it? <laughs> I mean, this is a this is a big pool. You've got steps going down. I can see lights in the pool, so it's been left at night time. Lovely properties in Neptunos. Give you another view of that side of that pool. So we come back round. Here's your shower unit. You got some shrubbery. You got your outdoor barbecue gear. You got some. This is the. Storage area now. Okay, so it's just for putting your stuff away. You've got a boiler there. It's possible looking at it. It's a gas water boiler. So you've got another part of the side there. I mean, what is good about it, it's obviously walled in there for privacy. Um, so you've got a sort of a and outside dining areas where you, you could come out and have your breakfast, because that's the kitchen door there. Just give you another view of it. That's the upstairs. So we're back round to the front of the property. We've got a outside terrace. I'll call it a sun terrace. So we're just going to go up inside. So here it is. Look at that view, eh? Now one of the things I do love, you don't see it in a lot of properties, and you, guys, you do need it. It's a fly screen. I don't know if you can, if you can hear that, but that's... It's got fly screens all around it because when you're sat out here, the last thing you want, especially in the height of the summer, mosquitoes and flies that get in here. But you can sit out here within comfort without getting those pesky little things biting you. <laughs> so anyway, so we go in. Let's go in. So you've got the closet here to put all your broom stuff in. You've got the... Uh, fuse box so you go straight into the lounge big lounges to Neptunos nice big space and looking back out onto the terrace there so we just walked in through there you've got an aircon machine just up there you've got an open fireplace here Just giving you a view of that. 
Now this Neptuno is slightly different because usually you just get two bedrooms downstairs and then one upstairs, but this one's got three bedrooms um, which are downstairs, which I've never done before. So straight into the kitchen. As always, plenty of storage spaces. I'm not gonna look in the cupboards because obviously somebody lives there and they want me to show all their wares. They've got the lights up there. They've got a hanging light just over there. So you've got a washing machine, dishwasher. You've got a gas hob there. Um, you've got all the stuff that you need So we're gonna go into the bedrooms now. Now this is gonna be interesting for me because they've got a different layout here. Now usually, I think it's still to the left is the master bedroom, but we'll have a look at that in a moment. Let's show the other two guest bedrooms first. So we've got one guest bedroom here. As you can see, nice big space. We've got a view looking out uh, the win window there. I'll just, just about to mention, um, got an aircon machine up there as well you've got your ceiling fan you've got a built-in wardrobe there you've got a radiator here so we come out of this bedroom we've got the bathroom you've got a walk-in shower toilet and sink and you've got a view out the back window at the pool, we've got the toilet there. We've got a vanity unit there. And you've got the light at the top there. And you've got the toilet and sink. Okay. So we come into the second guest room. Now they've got a bunk bed. We've got a light above it. Just shows you what you can do in these rooms. I mean, obviously it would also, you could fit a double bed in there if you wanted to. There's an air con machine in the corner there. You've got another view out the back window, the pool. You've got your built-in wardrobe just over there. So guys, there's loads of space. That's what I love about these Neptunos. Nice big rooms. You've got a, a storage cabinet as well put your stuff in you got another one to put more stuff in I mean you know you never go never gonna have too much I suppose that's what my wife says so this is the what I class as the master bedroom so you've got air con machine above your head you've got obviously double sized bed here you've got a window looking out the front again built-in wardrobe for more stuff now this is what I mean, this has been done slightly different here. There's your bathroom or ensuite. There's all light there. Typical Spanish light. So we go into the bathroom. You've got a bath in there. You've got the shower attachment as well so yeah very nice so we're just going to go outside to go up to the third <laughs> guest room or I should say the uh, could be your master bedroom upstairs some people do that so as you come out the back kitchen door Here's the flight of stairs that takes you up to the upstairs bedroom. This could be your guest room uh, for the family that want to get away from it all. So they've got their own bit of privacy. So there's a view from the pool looking down on it. So let's go in. So as you can see, big, big room, lots of stuff in here. Double bed. You've got the ceiling light up there. I could take you into the bathroom first. 
So you've got a view out the window there. You've got the shower room. It's got some stuff in it, so I don't really want to show that, guys. <laughs> but as always with these bathrooms, nice and big. You've got a bidet there, you've got your toilet. Everything that you would expect. And they're nice big bathrooms, these Neptunos upstairs. I mean, you can imagine this in the morning. I mean, you can see already the sunlight that's on the bed. And we're not even midday yet. Well, unfortunately, <laughs> I did try the key to... I just don't want to... But there's the balcony. I mean, look at that view, if you can see it. You've got the mountains over there. You've got, obviously, Mazarin and the port. You've got mountains all around you. I mean, what a lovely view. I just can't show you right on that balcony, but you get the gist of it. So, let's go back downstairs and have a chat. So, let's just do a recap. So he's looking at a Neptuno on Campus Old B. So you're not far from the shops. You've got all this amazing countryside, just at, as they call it, the Campo. You've actually gone out for walks for that. So it's a four bedroom, three bathroom property. Plenty of parking, comes with a car. Guys, before I carry on anymore, guys, don't contact me. For more information, please contact uh, the estate agent, he can give you all the information you need to know. Guys, you do need to come out and have a look yourself. And also, not just the property, but also the area. Make sure it's for you. Like I said, it's not very far from the shops, but you sort of got your little bit of privacy as well, where you can just look out and observe what's going on out there. Another thing I don't, I'm trying to try and keep these videos short is if you check out my playlist on my channel, Guys, there's so much here on Campusol, and I could talk for ages about it. <laughs> but if you check out my playlist, um, that'll give you all the information. If you go under Campusol, there's loads of videos there about the amenities on Campusol itself, what to do, go out exploring the two nearest airports, obviously how to get there, um, get down to the port and the town. Um, yeah, so much information. As always, hope you enjoy these videos. As always, as well, because there'll be another video coming very soon, and uh, have a lovely time.